what's going on folks so mildew and mold around bathroom vents or on bathroom ceilings and walls we get a lot of those calls around here it's nowhere else in the house but it's on the bathroom walls and the ceiling or around the a vent maybe it wasn't insulated or sealed right in the attic whatever it is so you saw the ceiling in the house and that's in the bathroom it's not in the whole bathroom just in the little alcove area where the toilet and that shower is at and this is a XV system pretty sure there's nothing wrong with it because it's maintaining 72 degrees in there the humidity in the rest of the space is oh, her bedroom the little living room area places like that it's about 47 46 47 percent and that lets me know the system is is doing what it's supposed to but we get a lot of those calls around here for those and i'm just waiting for the unit to come back on i had to disconnect out for a minute looking at a few things but she's got that generac box so it's got a time delay when you put the disconnect back in and eventually this will click on and come on and boot back up and it'll come on and run i just want to be able to verify that i hooked up to it but we get a lot of those calls around here mildew in the bathrooms on the ceiling around the walls and <clears throat> they install exhaust fans this was an addition to the house so this was after the fact it wasn't part of the original construction i don't think it's a blowout right here and then they redesigned some of the downstairs area a uh, nice little area for an in-law suite they put this is that bathroom and they put the exhaust fan in there okay our power just came back on we're booting back up and you don't know how they vent the thing do they run it to a end cap with a flap that stays closed and when that fan comes on it opens up allows that airflow when they run the exhaust and when it shuts off kind of like a dryer vent should work then close back so that when the air conditioning is running that's closed and you, you don't pull outside humid hot air back into the space through the exhaust duct and the fan into the living space so I'm going to show you some video here. I'm going to check this unit when it comes back on. We're going to make sure the job, or the, the job, the unit's running where it's supposed to be. The charge and everything's good on it. And then we're going to show you what, the, what causes that, what you need to look for when you run into those issues. Because nine times out of ten when we get them, it's always a bathroom with an exhaust fan. I had one the other day. It said the humidity on on hotter days the humidity in the house actually would go up and he had a kitchen the stove was on the end of the house he had an eight inch exhaust for his vent for his range hood and the flapper was wide open outside stuck so the entire time the air conditioner's on it was dumping that cold air he wondering why his hood was sweating and it was humid in the house that big eight inch duct when the air conditioning was running, it was sucking that hot, humid air right back into the house, through the kitchen, right into the living space. So those are things you've got to look for if you're wondering how you're getting humidity into a house, infiltration, things like that. We're going to run this unit. I'm going to check the charge real quick. And then we're going to cover why this lady is having the problem that you saw on the intro to the video. All right, so we're hooked up to this unit. The pressures are fine. Just checking pressures real quick. Running fine. There's no faults or alerts in it. So if you look over here, this is that bathroom. It's the window. That's the exhaust outlet for the fan, the exhaust fan in the bathroom. As you can see, it's not closed. It's just a small louvered little stamp plate cap they put on there. Goes in, goes out. I'm going to pop the cover off of that exhaust fan, see if there's a, a flap inside of it that opens and closes. If there's not, then we're going to dig into it, and uh, I'm going to show you what the problem is. So I'm not going to disassemble this whole fan, but 
there is not a flapper back there. This is the one over my kitchen range at my house has one in it. You can hear it close when the draft stops. I'm not hearing that. I'm not going to disassemble this whole thing, but you can feel the heat getting pulled in right there back in this thing. There's not a backstop or a flapper inside there. But watch this following footage and you'll see exactly what I'm looking at and what's going on. So keep in mind this is an XV train variable speed system that's it's on this space so it runs all the time at some capacity from minimum to high back to minimum throughout the day in, in the warm weather. So there's always some air blowing out of that supply register on the floor. A little harder, a little slower, always cold. But you saw there we had 46, 48 degrees supply air. Now we've got 80 degrees. It's about 82 outside. So we're getting about 80 degrees coming back in through that exhaust fan through that outside cap, back through the duct, back into the bathroom. Imagine on a hot day where it's 95 outside, 96, rain, high humidity, dew points, things like that. Comes back into this bathroom, that cold air is constantly meeting it up there by the ceiling, and you've got weather. You're going to get sweating, moisture, and mildew. So... In the rest of the living space, this is like an in-law in, in suite, excuse me. All the ceilings are fine. The humidity in this area is good. It's just an addition that they added on. We installed this XV system on it. And you see the humidity in the rest of the space? It's about 47, 48, roughly. So let's go see what we get coming out of this register. Flip that up. So we're gonna set this here for a minute. And I'm guessing we're gonna watch the humidity skyrocket. And as you can see, it's already gone up to 70%. Coming in right here, and it's actually a mild day outside, low dew point, about 78, 79 degrees. But uh, that's where this is coming from. We've got this register blowing cold air. Got a steamy shower right next to it. They probably do not run the exhaust fan. It does come on. But they probably don't use it. And you get this humidity getting sucked in this bathroom when this air conditioner is running. We're feeding cold air up on this ceiling and that's why it's the only one doing that doesn't have a cap outside, a vent cap, doesn't close. And uh, every time the air conditioner comes on, it's sucking that warm, humid air right in this exhaust fan, right in this area. And uh, well, cold air blowing on it gets below dew point, ceiling sweats, and eventually you end up with this.